Hi guys, thanks for coming. So tonight we will build a simple uh, a simple Laravel app, a simple e-commerce app using Laravel six. So, so first thing first, make sure you already install Composer. So open your terminal. Okay. So change to your workspace. So mine will be desktop. Okay. So one once done. You need to install. Um, to make sure you already install Laravel. Lah. Okay. So I already installed mine. Then you need to create a new project, new Laravel project. So type composer create project. Refer this Laravel and then your project name. So mine will be Laracom. Enter. So we wait. Right then. <coughs> okay. Okay, so I try to explain what we trying to do now is we uh, create a simple uh, e-commerce app which is they will show a list of product then user can see a specific uh, product if let's say the user click on the product uh, details it, then if the user interested to buy then the the user will click add to cut button then the user can um, let's say if it um, have done the uh, let's say shopping right then user can check out uh. but we not cover the payment part we just cover only for the uh, product uh, list, details, shopping cart, and checkout page. That's all. Okay. So, 
<coughs> open your visual studio then open your project laracon open Alright, so you need to, before we start, you need to figure, you need to make sure configure a database connection first. Huh? Okay. So run your web server. So make sure start. Okay. So I'm using mem and okay, I think you can create new database name. So I try to drop this DB. We try to do from scratch. Okay. So I'm using PHP my admin. So my school uh, database and create new database name is Aracom Encrypt. So this is your new database. Okay, make sure you open uh, your M A E N V file. So try to update here. <coughs> okay. So Laracom. So mine is DB password root. So DB socket. So what's it? DB socket. Here. DB socket. DB socket. No, no, not the socket. This one. Okay. Not sure because I'm using mem. So DB socket, I think this one. So if you're using Mac, you need to uh, set up using you need to set up your DB socket. Huh? Okay. All right. okay. Next, we need to install the uh, Laravel UI. Because you want to, um, to make sure Bootstrap um, is set up or included inside our project. Then go to terminal. So composer require the
Okay. So next. So we will install new layout view. Okay. So um I think you need I need just for for easy way. So maybe I just I just install the authentication module because I just want the, the master template okay but at the same time if you want to create your own uh, login or register forgot password verification blah 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 you can use this uh, command eh? okay but I, I we just uh, we can uh, install the, the authentication module but we not cover uh, most of it just the reason why i just trying to get the master template so php artisan ui view So make sure you install Node.js eh? So done. So we will run npm uh, run dev. So once done, you can get the the bootstrap here. So wait for it. Because by default. The bootstrap is not um, inside your project okay so see so this is a bootstrap okay all right so next we need to create a new model so to create a new model so php Push be artisan, make model. So you put your model name, order. Then uh, to get your to create together with migration file dash m. <coughs> So go to your migration file, so open database migrations. This one. Okay. 
to make sure you inside uh, create product stray product stable then you need to we need to update the product table product the database structure so by default uh, it's already have the id also with uh, timestamp which is the, uh, created at and updated at so we need to add uh, name uh, slug data details and price and description so i'm going to type table name unique unique table string slug so this one we build the the parameter the URL parameter if the user click the product details then this will be, um, we find uh, the, pro the specific product based on this attribute so slug unique I'm not using ID because the SEO purpose okay, string details It will be the length, the two will be the floating number. So, table text description. Okay. So then we do the migration part. So go to view terminal PHP is migrate. Okay, we check on the database. See, so products. Hmm. Splendid. All right. Okay, next, open your home controller. <coughs> so this is your home controller. So we get this before, uh, because we run the the authentication uh, scaffold command. So that's why you you, you get this controller if not you need to create a uh, manually okay. so import uh, in product model okay. so your model is here product inside app folder so product Hi, Caesar. 
So if you have any question, you can ask. Huh? Then go to index uh, function. Okay, index function. Then you need to um, wait, I'll update some code. Okay. So products. So I'll try to pluralize right. So product in random order. So if you watch, uh, if you already watch my video regarding to uh, Elucan ORM, so you will understand this code. So return view. Um, so we need to create a new view. Uh, name. So with product. So I believe they are no data yet. So what if we try to create new one? Dummy. Yeah. Okay. So dummy data insert. Okay. Oh, I have question. So a two is for what? Actually, it's a decimal uh, format. So, 8 will be the size of the, uh, we call the, not integer, but a decimal, the size. 2 is for the floating number, the behind. So, I will show it you how it looks like. So name, <coughs> uh, first product. Okay. So maybe I can use uh, first product. Okay. This will be the URL parameter. Okay. Details. Okay. We just leave it for details. So price. Okay. So let's say price, right? I put because eight eight is the maximum uh, length of size. So I try to make it ninety seven point zero zero or ninety seven point zero zero. So this is your floating uh, the the number the two floating numbers and then this is the whole the length. So this one will be four or four size of four. Okay, so max it. Okay, this is the first oh, product. Okay. Make it product A. Yeah. Product A. Product A. This is. This is product A. Okay. Right. So try to add uh, around five records. So put it B B B. Okay. Go. Then so for third, third record, you see, see, okay, fourth, oh, D, 
D D K then fifth the last one E E E so we have five records here for the A for the B C D E so Bindu, hi Bindu, why at 9am or 8 actually no am, it's pm pm you, pm you, Malaysia time uh, Kuala Lumpur Kuala Lumpur or Singapore time okay right okay then you need to add some CSS file Okay, maybe we can we can search some bootstrap. Uh, bootstrap e-commerce. Shall find fee the fee one. Okay, show home page. Okay, using this one. You go to public CSS, then you copy this file CSS shopping home. As you already you can close up. So go to app app dot css app dot css is a public uh, ah here public css app dot css So create new file custom dot css paste then you can go to master template. So master template located inside resources, views, layouts, app. Okay. There is an app CSS, right? So we need to add custom dot CSS. Oh, custom CSS. Okay, we try to uh, run the the app so PHP artisan so okay actually this this is us because but we not using this kind of design Oh, so sorry. Don't close this. Uh, create a new terminal. Okay, then you need to um, update the master template. 
master master layout template okay. so go back to the this link index okay so we will grab the navigation bar so we want to put it up here okay Maybe we can add add this one first, huh? Okay, navigation bar here. So copy all of this, then put it up here. So you can remove this inside body. Just take it out. Take it out. Take it out. Right. Okay. And paste. Okay, but we just uh, we just need uh, only two links uh, we, which is home and cut but this one you can import right. so home then cut take up this two so home slash so later on we will update uh, we will update inside uh, route file up route php uh, web dot php inside route folder the routing part so default we will show the list of product so cart we will show the shopping cart okay so okay, I'll just I'll not I'll task not uh finish. So we need to type the IV class container. So this is part of the thread component. So we um, sent uh centralize your page. Huh? So container the IV class. So, okay. Then we put uh, yield. Okay. So it's automatically generate. We already install uh, the the blade snippet. This one. Laravel blade. So I install Laravel blade snippets. So I got uh, auto generate. So yield. So name content. Okay, save. And go back to your projects uh, directory. Um, go home. This one. Okay. Then you need to uh, remove all of this. Then update with the new uh, code. With my code. Okay. Actually, you know my code is from the bootstrap. This one, this page. We take this one. Okay, remove this one first. Okay, then you can start copy. So start from here. Copy. So slow. Okay, I'll just copy this one. Okay. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. So until this. So from column three, so this section and then column nine, this one until here. But actually, we don't we don't need all of this. We 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 we'll remove it later. So copy, paste. Okay. 
So then you need to uh, update the route, the web PHP, the, the route, the routing, the route, okay, routing, your routing. So this one, okay, you can remove this. So slash. Home controller and your function name. Okay, so once done, you can try to run your app. Oh, well, actually, it's already run. This one. So, yeah, I think no need. So, refresh. Oh, load in. Oh, because wait, wait, wait a second. You don't need view. Oh, view main. Sorry. Actually, main. Not home. Main, right? So we change to main. See, so this is your, this is the result for your uh, front page. But I don't think we, I don't think this is a complete one. We need to do some modification because this is just dummy. Uh, hi JJ, hello. Okay, next. So go to main blade of php so we take out the carousel okay oh, 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 oh. we want to take out we want to take out this one okay remove take out save Okay, but it's not look quite fit. It's not pretty good. Huh? I'm not sure about this one. So this one the. Let me check first. Okay. Um, because we got the top bar, right? So I'm going to remove this. Yeah, I think never mind because our our purpose is not uh, focusing on the the view side, which is the front end side. Okay, I think never mind. Okay. Oh, so I got a question. So how to, how to add a multi vendor feature to shopping cart? Oh, this one we actually is possible, but uh, not I think not covered for for this training. 
it's possible but maybe on the next lesson i can show you how to put uh, multiple vendor feature okay right they just just ignore the, the front ends the front end part okay but I, I, i'm sure why they they the there's no gap i think later later i thought we can fix that okay all right so next we need to uh, update our model post model okay. go uh, the reason why you uh, why you need to uh, update the post model because we want to uh, add some, uh, uh, currency okay. so philip Philly M, for how long have you been coding for? Uh, I think since 2010. But Laravel um, still new for me. I think since 2000, 2018, 2018, 2017. I don't remember. I think 2018. 2018 now. Uh. Okay. Because my first PHP framework is PHP Zen framework. So that one Zen framework version 1. So currently it's version 2, right? I don't remember. I'm not, I'm not remember. I'm not sure about that. Okay. Alright. Okay, so before we update our uh, product model, which is this model, so how if we go back to our view main blade.php because we don't want to show the dummy the dummy page so i want to show you uh, we want to retrieve the records from the database here this way okay this okay, all right so we we'll take out all of this wait So make sure it show only only this only one okay because we will try to do some looping so let's say if there's a uh, five records so we show you five it uh, items huh? okay oh Philip I started two weeks ago wow nice nice it's nicely done nicely done all right okay so we, we do the looping here so where is it where is it where is it okay so here right we want to put oh wait wait wait, wait a second Wait, wait, wait. Oof. Oh, look at your viewer count. <laughs> I think this is the first time I got 42. Oh, I'm watching now. <laughs> wow. Whoa, 40, 45, 50. I, I I I'm not sure this this like kind kind of bored. <laughs> Fifty 
54 54 58 wow hmm wow 58 oh my god 62 <laughs> 62 users oh 64 wow i don't think it's a real user <laughs> 69 wow oh my god i think 72 nah Ah, seventy. Oh, seventy eight. Oh, nine eighty. What the? <laughs> why? 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 So? Why is happening? Why? Why is you? Wow. What? Ah, 107 109 Ah, things okay Wow 113 Ah I think never mind lah about, about the view Okay, I, I just proceed With the uh, The lesson Okay So, for For each For each Okay, for each For each Okay, so collection So we get from um, What's we call? Home controller This one right So home controller You can uh, Get from products here So products Products S product Okay Yeah, I'm not cover much about the basic PHP. I think you all more expert than me. Yeah? Okay. So call, cut this one. And paste it. Paste it here. Okay. Okay. So product. Yeah, product. So you we put a product name. So product, product. We call product product name right? Am I correct? Product name. Okay. So product name. Then this one. Price. So this one, uh, this is for description. Okay. Right. So description. So remove the review, this review part. Okay. So actually, this one for link using product slash because this is the the product details URL. Product. Right, we're not using ID because it's a because the SEO, SEO purpose. Huh? Okay. So actually, ID is number, right? So the uh, URL, URL, the product uh, URL slash then a parameter. So you want to find the specific ID, right? So same goes this to this one. Okay. 
So next, all right. So refresh. Okay, see there are five items here. So product, this one just random. Let's say if I refresh again. So it's not okay. Say CBE, so it's not based on sequence. Okay, because I'm using um, in ran in random order. Okay. Right. So next, um. Okay. So if you notice the the the, the currency, right? There are no currency. Okay. So I, I try to put uh, RM currency, ringgit measure. Okay, which where, where, where is uh, which is my uh, my country, so Malaysia. So I try to put my, my own country. So if you want to come to Malaysia, you can come. <laughs> so a lot of delicious food here. Okay. So product model public. So create new function call price uh, format. So public function format. So let's say if you have any questions, you can ask. Huh? So return money format. So I this price. Okay, save. Okay, then uh, go to what we call this one this one so we want to to put the the, the currency here okay <clears throat> so we using uh, instead of price we using price format uh, we call this function so price see this price format then save the, don't forget don't forget the the the, the function eh? the bracket okay. refresh see the currency appear okay. then what we go we'll do we're gonna do now all right so next we will um, a create we will create a new controller which is a product controller whereby user can view the product details so how to do that so go to your terminal okay type php go up 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 php artisan make controller so product controller Okay, like this one. Then enter. See, put the controller here. It's already created. Okay. All right. Oh, Philip. So should I remove the views or should I just let them chill here? I don't know, man. I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. So go to your controller, import product model, app product. Then we will create two member functions. So public 
mention index okay. so probably function show name for the for the, the, the parameter here which is the Then we go to home controller, just copy this. Okay. I think for this, uh, for the pro, uh, list of product, this is the dif difference eh? compared to home and uh, product, list of uh, product, product page. So there are two pages with same function, which is list of product. So this this okay this one eight 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 four. Oh. It's up to you ah uh, eight. How how many items you want to show? It's up to you. Okay. Okay then product. Okay, so product this one just singular so no s. It's up to you ah uh, you want to put s or not. So if breast protein, just just put it singular, lah. no S. So slug. So I try to put where slug. So first of fill. Okay, return view. What product? Don't show. So this one we will create a new view. Okay, I forgot this one. You need to update your view product dot index. Okay, so that show with what product? No s right. Okay, that's all for product controller. Okay, so go to your resources, views, okay, this one your master template, right? So create new folder, product, create new files, so blade template must be uh, file name, this one, like index, right? If let's say you, you want to create a view index so index dot blade dot php so index dot blade dot php okay then we create next show blade dot php okay so then uh Go to what we call main blade.php. So copy all this code, then paste it inside index.blade.php because it's using the same uh, output. Okay. All right. Okay, actually, uh, for this one, right? Home, home, okay, home, product, home product. Okay, okay. So go to master template. Master template. Hmm. Never mind, never mind. So we try to put we oh sorry we need to update the routes. Okay. So type route say gate. What? 
product product oh product controller at index okay then okay, for list of products actually same with the own controller huh? then route okay so get product oh, sorry this one uh, make it a, a, a s so slash of course lock Okay, by our uh, show, then you got your route. Okay. So make sure you uh, uh, get it correct here. Then you need to update the show blade. The PHP. Okay. Um. So so for for view for the right. So go to the what we call show home page. This one show home page. Okay, go back. Oh, it's so slow. Okay, show item. Eh? So go to show item. View the code. Wow, slow. So, do you have any questions so far while we waiting this slow internet connection? Oh, okay. So, in that was ML. Okay, then you need to copy here. this one copy what copy and paste here copy and paste okay don't forget to uh, to extend uh, layout so at to extend layout see the layouts dot app okay then the we put the content here then we end section create section first then end section section oh oh not not section this one this one so content because this one content Okay. So end section. Okay. Copy here. So end. Okay. okay. So this is for review, right? So review just take it out. Ah, uh. I'm not using it. Okay. Including this one. Na na na. Remove it. Okay. So product name product product name oh where's the arrow so product name the pricing product price what we call product price one Price format okay. this one description okay. 
button price description then So do you have any question so far? No question? Okay, no question. Okay. So go to this side. So try, we try trigger uh, product. No error. Alright, nice. So see if I hover and eh, there there's a product is like at the bottom left. So you click. Oh I'm variable <laughs> price. Show blade of HP. Price. Where is it? Oh it's not price. It's product. Okay, refresh. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I realized the mistake. Thank you, JJ. Thank you. Okay. So next, so what's next? So next, we will create a simple shopping cart. So this one, you no need to create a new table. Just using the Laravel library. So what we call? Try search uh, Laravel shopping cart. Okay. So, but I realize you need to pick up the correct one. If you like, let's see this one, right? Green scene and the green scene. Actually, this is the base. But there are a lot of developers fork this repo. Then they try to modify. Uh, that's suitable with Laravel 6. So, but because this one just only supported for part Laravel 5. Okay. So don't use this one. Okay. I think there's a lot. There, there are the other there, there, there is another library uh, using this repo as a base. Uh, I try to. Uh, remember what what's the what's the get up never mind go back go, go back to this page was one more time okay so shopping so shopping card so issues so don't ins don't don't install this library yet <coughs> ah use the bum bum man 99 love uh, shopping cart this one is the correct one the most suitable so you see it's for from Chris screen scene okay you can use this command so copy so you can install via terminal okay so we wait for it So do you have any questions so far? No questions? No question. Easy, right? Mm. 
installing Okay, done. Okay, then go to env file. Here, env file. So, don't forget to update the session driver. We change into file. Okay, so by default, it will be cookie. We are using file. Okay, don't forget this mistake. Oh, don't forget this. Sorry, don't forget this step. Okay. Then run PHP artisan config cache. Nice. Then go to web.php under routes. So add new route. Okay, route get cut okay then cut controller at index oh. okay this one let's say if I click cut right they will show the cut summary okay so then post so this one for add to cut, add to cut. So let's say this product details, I will put it, put it uh, add to cut button. Then when user click this button, they will add the item into cut. So post cut cut control. Okay, so this is a post method, right? Stop. That's all. Okay. Then you need to create a new controller. Okay, so why file instead cookie? Because based on this, uh, library if you're using um, cookie when you add to cut let's say uh, you add for for the first time let's say first um, what do you call first item and then you want to add another item second item but if you add another more than uh, two items maybe for the third item we just it just show only uh, two items max. That's the the glitch of this library, yeah. But they already solve it. That's why I I already asked them why is this error happen. Then they, they asked me to change the um, season cookie to file here. This is the library issue. Huh? Okay. This one, this library, the shopping cart library. This one. Okay. So Laravel is not not a nice nice name, right? So we change to Laracom. Okay. You need to restart. Huh? Okay. Okay. Don't forget to uh, restart your server. So end, then start again. To, to see the changes okay okay right so um go to the next terminal and type php we need to create a new controller so main controller uh, card controller okay so new card controller already created okay card controller so you need to add two functions 
index and store that's all our we already set up previously so public function index the next function uh, store function so we will add when user add to cut so this function will be triggered so we will fire up so store so request because it's post method right so request request So, so cut add so what you call okay let me explain this one so how I know this code add right so you can refer to this documentation so on the bum bum man 99 so you can see here they say if you want to add to cart, you can put name, um, sorry, the ID, the product ID, name, the quantity, price, and uh, what is this? I think week, week, okay. So, but our database delimitation week, just this one, just optional. So, the the you need to specify product ID, name, quantity, and price. So we can use this add, okay, add request ID. So request ID, request name. So later on, we will. We will update the show blade of PHP, yeah, which is the product details. So, quantity one, okay. If I have to cut right, so request price, okay. Then using associate, so associate, associate, okay. Associate what? Associate what? App product so how I know I associate how how I know all of this is it magic no it's not magic so you can see this is uh, I say we want to yeah I think you can read it from here Because I have a product model, right? Then I can associate ah, with this. Okay, so app search product. Let's say if you in the maybe maybe in the cut you want to show the product description, so we, we just can call from there. Easy. So you get cut. Then you. Cut index. So later on, we need to create this view eh? index. So index with with message. So message. Okay, one more thing. Uh, why I need to put the file session file session driver file instead cookie. And another reason is. I want to show the flash uh, message. If not, this message will this message will not appear. Okay. So item was added to the card. Okay. Right. Okay. So index. So type return view. Cut index. Okay. So we need to create a new folder called cut. So cut index. Oh, sorry, cut. Cut folder. Cut. 
create new file index dot blade dot php that's all okay so next we need to add add to cut button okay go to show blade dot php show blade dot php then add to cut add to cut button wait 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 i want to put the add to cut So we maybe we can put under this uh, description. So we can put it. So I refer I change the the title lah. Laracom here. Oh, what? It's not change. Wait 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 wait. Supposedly change. I think maybe the the cash. I don't know, try to play it out. Why so slow? Supposedly, you already show up. I'm gonna call the app name. Wait. in the app dot bleed so, title try to play okay Oosh. hmm nothing change Quite weird, huh? If not change, maybe we try to fix it later. Uh, this one try to fix it later. Uh. So go to cut. Oh, sorry, cut is empty, right? Okay, cut empty. Uh, go to product. A any product uh, product item so we need to add add to cut here so add to cut we need to add new button new add to cut button okay so form action So method post. Okay. Then we need to add uh, CSRF token as uh, our for a security purpose field. Okay. And type input. So this one we will we will send out the ID, name and price, together with the button now. So type. Oh hidden, hidden. So hidden. ID. value product id
copy then just copy paste uh. okay so name 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 then this one for price price then add button button class then button primary and to cut save okay and yeah, refresh and to cut button So, okay, 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 wait, wait. Okay. So what's next? Okay. So we need to add. We need to show the let's say if the what you call. At, uh, if the user add to cart then the item will sh uh, show up inside the cart summary yeah. ok so before that we try to um, get the the bootstrap design for add to cart so maybe we can, can do some google so bootstrap Shopping cart, shopping cart, shopping cart template. Ah, shopping cart Tom template. Ah, oh, slow. Is this is this page okay or not? I think this one okay, right? So maybe you can use this one, ah. Okay. So you can start copy. So copy, so copy the design. This will be copy. Then paste it here. Sorry, we need to add the instance layout first. Layout the app in sections. Content. Then you can paste it here. Refresh. So, don't forget the CSS file. Wait, preview. Yes, yes, category blow at the cut. Try to refresh cut. Hmm nice but it's not nicely done right button missing so try to take a look at this one right. what if i put row here
Hmm, not okay. <laughs> not okay, I think never mind, never mind. Just ignore this one. Okay. So, I just want to show only one because uh, we try to uh, make it dynamic. So, wait. So, this icon, right, doesn't add up. It doesn't add up. Okay, so go to button. So using button, right? Pagination. So icon. So how you get this icon? I think for icon, let me just make it a uh, link, uh. okay? Because uh, later on I will uh, add uh, put a. Uh, there are two type of card summaries. So first default, the uh, and then the second one is uh, save it for later. So let's say if you don't have enough money, you can save it for later. They call save later basket. <laughs> okay, then we wait, wait. Remove this one. Okay, until here. So the product here. So make sure it show up like this. Okay, so only one. Okay. So but the but this one button I just just I just put the just link a link a simple link. So what delete and then what save it for good save it for later save it for later Save for later, save for later. Save for later, solve it for later. Save. Save for later. Yeah, I know. Need phone awesome, but I don't want to waste uh, time to fix that. Maybe later, uh, if we have uh, not, uh, time. Enough time for, for this. Save for later. So refresh. Oh, because no href. Just put just for temporary. See, save later or delete. Because I don't want to think what's the save for later icon. <laughs> That's why I don't want to, to use icon. Okay, then we put a message. Let's say if successful added into item, uh, into cut. So we show item ready added to cut. Like this one. So item was added to your cut. So we show the, the message. So go to here. Then you need to put what we call um maybe header 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 cut. Okay. Then we 
if if session has success okay. and session get success okay don't for forget to, to use uh, bootstrap uh, success box so class alert success so it's a it's a green box It's okay this one all right so next we will show the add to cut item okay so how to do that okay refer back to documentation here so let's say if you want to show the cut details right once you add to cut so you need to show uh, what's inside the cut so you can get use content cut content and then you can um, you can count uh, the cut let's say if more than zero which is they have a record right more than zero at least one uh, so they will show the cut shopping cut if not we, sh we put the simple message and uh, you have only em uh, empty cut okay so go back to our ID okay we we almost done I think around 50 percent 50 percent I'm not sure 50 percent not okay we try to make it faster okay, so if so try if 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 else so if cut count more than zero we show this cut if zero show the message okay T body responses I think I'm not sure this one. I think I'm not on this one. Okay. Doesn't it up? Uh, I think you can put here. No. I, 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 I don't think it's a, it's a correct way it's a session <coughs> let me think let me think first wait wait um, I 
you can put it outside outside I want to make sure uh, because I, I want to hide let's say if the count zero I want to hide this table this one responsive table but I don't want to mess up this I want to just close it here continue shopping check out it doesn't make sense the design does it doesn't make sense at all I think you need to cut here and put it up inside this then we can put it here am I correct yes or no so we try it first hmm yeah so correct okay so once done you you create this one right so the the successful message then you count if not exist let's say no record okay so you can show here no items in card Okay, so go home. Okay, so add to cut. Okay, then you need to add. Okay, we need to add the the make it dynamic uh, the the cut. Okay. So actually our work is not finished yet. Okay. So count make it make it proper like this okay so cow so product available availability I think no name availability we put description right description okay so quantity price <coughs> okay so you can um you can do the the loop here the looping uh, in, around TR okay inside T body so for each for each okay like this Then you can start uh, at the you can bind the data so for the eh hey, sorry not product actually actually you need to the collection first so cut sorry cut okay so get content you can get content here Let's get content. Oh, I see. Get content. Okay, yeah, content. S. Item. Then. You put your item. Item. What? Item. Model. So, how to call. Can how to retrieve the specific um, uh, attribute so they have a attribute model here where is it where is it message i think not mentioned inside here 
why I I I memorize ah I I I still remember how to to retrieve the the card. So let how we try it first. Okay. So item model name. So this this one description. So description. Okay, model description. So this one the price. So item model price format okay save for later oh no no probably okay so press for press for format save for later okay this one can not later still this one later on okay so for this one right um, I think for it to cut here. I'm not sure. Is it is it is it is it correct or not? This one for sub -tot total ship. Uh, I think not shipping. Are we using what? Maybe uh tax. Can use tax. Okay. So because this lesson just cover only. Uh, not shopping, shipping but tax. So sub total tax, this one tax. Actually, how how how, how much need to pay for tax? Okay, tax and total. So this one later later on, uh, we can can we can do it. We try to try to add to cut. Wow, it's working. It's working. See. So product B, product B. So I go home. Try to product E at the cut. Oh, product E. Okay. Product E at the cut. Hmm. See. E. What? See. See B E A C D. How about D? Add to cut. So there is already five. I already add five items. Okay. All right. So next, we try to delete. Ah, uh, delete the item. So go to make sure save ah. So go to um your cut controller. Okay. Then you, you add another function called destroy. So for the function destroy what slab? No slab. Ah. ID so product ID right so cut remove see remove there's a remove there's a remove so but but remove no product ID the cut ID okay so remove ID then return Back with oh, it's supposed to show the the success message, right? If I correct, item is been removed. Supposedly to add the the ID. So not not the ID the 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 successful message here. I was just wondering why. 
it's not not showing up. Uh, success, success. So, so do you have any idea why it's not showing any success message? It's supposed to show the success message if I add to cut. See, no, no success message here. Something wrong happened. Why? Do you, do you know what's the, the mistake where? So have success. So get. So. Ah, no one. No wonder I didn't get the success because I'm using message. So you need to update, update success. See success. Okay. Okay. So let's say if you want to try uh, to empty your card manually, so maybe you can update here. So routes with PHP. Okay. So maybe maybe you can can manually uh, remove the the card, empty the card manually. Yeah, so card empty. So card empty. So function. Card. Save. Now I try to empty the card. Okay, empty. So no, no item was supposedly. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, no uh, item in card, right? So I try to add. So product A, it took us for to show a message. Oh, why? 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 What happened? Why? Success. Mostly success. So success view redirect. Hmm. I'm not sure what's the mistake here. try to 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 check so I think you cannot use view or redirect I think redirect 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 direct redirect is a correct it's a correct one not redirect it's not redirect. It's a redirect. Yes, this one. Cut. Boom! Yes! <laughs> Alright, so I'm successfully show the success message. Okay. It's quite intense. Okay. So how about if we try to delete from the card? So we already created the delete function. Why not we create for um, the UI, the UI part? So we need to update the but the. Hey, wait, wait. They will delete. Yeah, we not we not fully. Uh, Make uh, uh not the the button not fully function functioning. So uh okay go go to web dot php. Okay and row this one for delete. Eh? Make sure you add delete cut. What ID? 
this one not broad ID eh? like, like I mentioned before it's a row is a cut ID okay so cut ID then cut controller destroy okay then you need to update your button go to index uh, this one the cut index to upgrade php so go to this link right okay <coughs> I'm not sure if we want to use a link or button. What if we're using a button? So maybe we can use button. Okay, wait, 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 wait. wait. So maybe we can change to button. 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 Okay, so the button quite ugly. Never mind. Can add the bootstrap. So button. Button primary. This one, button, button danger. Wow. Okay. So delete. Okay. So we add. Uh, we update the delete button here. So add form. Action. Cut. Item row ID. Okay, don't forget to to add uh, CSR CSRF token CSRF token then the method uh, destroy yeah sorry delete using method delete destroy is a function name so method fill delete okay so refresh so I try. Oh, oh why supposed to not show this? Wait, what happened? What happened? What happened? It's a token. Why is this? So form. Okay, this one pop up. Okay. Post. Four. What is this? Is it the raw ID? No. The action card. So form mm, I don't know what's the mistake here. It's supposedly to 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 hidden the that value. So form ID item.
so met so method post right so says a token so says this is says as Fear. Oh. Ah. So, not token. So, fear. Okay, then we try to delete. Oh, item has been removed. So, no items in card. <sighs> Alright. Nicely done. Okay. So, next. So, what's next? Next, we want to show the the count, the shopping cart count. So let's say if I try to add to cart, okay. So add to cart, supposedly show one item here, okay. So how to do that? So go to master template. So close all of this. Uh, ding. Okay, uh, this 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 page. Okay, cut here, right? So we need to put a new batch. Okay, the bootstrap batch. batch. So if, okay, so if cut instance, okay, we, we're using instance because later on we will use save for later is uh, cut. So there are two cards I already mentioned before, right? So default and save for later card. Later on we will do that. Huh? So first try to do this. So instance uh, default. Okay, default count if more than zero. If they have records inside the card, so we show the batch we count. So class batch batch light. I don't know. I try. Maybe this one batch light. Okay. So cut. Ins or instance default okay. count save refresh see one item okay I try to add another item eh add to cut so to See, easy. Okay, so next we will update the text read. So this one dummy, right? So we need to add the text read. Ah, so go to this documentation. So you need to add. Uh, you need you need to publish this file uh, config file manually. Yeah. Okay. Because I not remember the the code, so I just refer the documentation. I honestly I'm not uh I'm not one hundred percent memorized. So if this goes south, or well, I not remember, I just just refer to this documentation. So just honest with yourself. If you don't know, just confess. Okay, so copy this. So a page that is some vendor published. So we are using this uh, provider. Okay. So copy, then add on your command terminal. Okay. So paste. So this there will be a. Cut the PHP here. See, so cut PHP here. So text rate uh twenty one. So this by default ah, but in Malaysia, is a uh, for corporate tax is twenty twenty four corporate tax Malaysia corporate tax. 
So corporate tax Malaysia. Because I'm from Malaysia, so I'm doing for tax Malaysia tax rate. So corporate tax thirty four. Wow. How about Singapore? Singapore thirty four. Oh seventeen. That's why many companies go there. Many companies go out from Malaysia. This one for corporate tax. So let's see in individual Singapore income tax. So ah, uh, it's a twenty twenty two similar like Malaysia. Uh, Malaysia is around I think twenty four twenty eight Malaysia twenty eight uh, holy oh, okay right right so twenty four okay twenty four twenty four. Okay. Alright. So next, we need to uh, make sure this one uh, dynamic, subtotal, tag and top total. So go to, okay, close this. Close, close. Alright. So index.blade.php. Go down and down. Here. So we need to update this, then, okay, because I cannot uh, show the, the currency from the model, so I just manually type the currency here. Okay, so, <coughs> so cut, whoa, 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 cut, subtotal, what right, subtotal? Okay, this one subtotal. Okay, so this one uh, for tax, right? Tax, we calculate the tax. So tax, tax. Okay, then total. Total, 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 cut total, cut total, oh, whoa, whoa, cut, total, save, alright, refresh, <coughs> boom, so this is the dynamic data. Okay, so any questions so far? No question, no question, no question, okay. No question, eh? Okay, then. So next, okay. I think we want to deal with the what we call the duplication okay okay wait wait so because currently is we using uh, manual currency right so what if we update we using a, a helper so we can use the uh, um, this one right so we manually set the manual currency so I try to create a simple helper so they can use they can uh, use the RM we're we using many format function uh, before this okay so go to the app folder Let's create a new we call helper 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 dot php okay because it is not the the code is not uh not nice to show like this one uh. so 
we we'll try make it uh, more elegant solution looks more elegant right so, so type php function price format so price price not get okay, term price eh? so return money format rm so price okay So once you create this uh, helper, then you need to update your composer. Okay. So composer, co composer, no composer, composer. Do JSON. Okay. Composer. Do JSON. Okay. So find auto load. Okay. Here auto load. Right. So uh, inside here you need to create the uh, files. So files. Oh, automatically so inside this array so put app slash slash helpers helper dot php so helper dot php so once done you need to do the dumb auto load okay So the project can detect this ah. So composer dumb auto load. Oh, generating automatic auto load files. Okay. Then, then go to index to update the PHP. So remove this RM, this we make it more elegant. So price format. Same goes to, to this and this. Oh RM. Please remove it. Make it elegant. Save. See, so we make it elegant. All right. So next, okay. We almost there. We almost finish. Okay, not almost finish. I think not more not twenty thirty percent. Okay. So. Uh, right now we want to make sure let's say if we add item right let's say product a so let's say if user want to add item a uh, item, uh, product a they will to the uh, this system will tell the user this is a duplication item okay okay go to uh, cut controller so cut controller here so cut controller you can add to duplication duplicates verification duplicate duplicates duplicates s or without s mm, no s la. singular right so cut search function cut item cut item this is the, 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 the parameters huh? so uh, cut item and row id ok then use can yes search here search so you can use this one search ok so use request okay. 
then inside this so we can return cut item ID so make sure you when you compare you must compare with the data type not only the value okay so request ID okay so if duplicate is not empty so we, sh we show the, the message we direct with uh, error, error, error. Is it correct? Error. Is it suitable if you're using error message? I mean, error pop up box. I think just using success. I think already sufficient. Like I said before, we just think uh, about the front end, just we think later, uh, okay? So just using success. Uh, I, item is already in your car. So then, so you can try to add the existing pro, uh, product. So product A, so product A add to cut. See, item is ready to in your cut. Okay. So next, I think we almost there. So we we create a cut for save for later okay go to web.php add new route so route post what cut 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 save for later then cut controller save for later same colon okay then you need to add a new function save for later here so public function save for later So item cut get ID. So don't forget to put the ID here. Actually, ID this is the raw ID, eh? not product ID. So cut remove. So ID, okay. So by default, uh, on the default uh, cut, we remove the the item based uh, according to row ID. Then we add into save for later cut. So cut instance what save for later save for later add so add item id item name okay then item 
price. Then associate. Yep. Then return direct cut with success. Item has been saved for later. Okay, so next you need to add. Um, a new card for save for later save for later card alright so go to index the oblate of uh, this one ok then we need to add a new save for later save for later card ok Okay. Oh, it's already two hours. Okay, maybe we can make it three hours. <laughs> Relax, chill. We almost finished. Okay. We'll copy all of this. Copy, 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 copy. And paste. Okay, and and then inside the. This one for save for later. So, so this one no need. Just remove it. Take it out. Okay. So cut instance. Okay. So cut instance. Instance what? Save for later. Okay, save for later. Then for each, this one, same. Save for later. This one, okay, save for later. So I think at this does just same. Okay, using the same thing over and over again. Right. So don't forget to remove this. This one, the subtotal text, and then the blah blah blah. Okay. Also with this one, I continue shipping the one. Okay. No items. We try change the message, ah. You have no item. Save for later. Okay, save. Fresh. Okay. Okay. Okay, but in this page we don't have save for later button just just a simple one but not functioning okay. all right so maybe we can we can update here So do you have any questions so far? No question. Alright. Save for later.
Okay, so what's next? So what's next? So we can update this. The button save for later. Okay. So we're using the same concept. So save for later. Save for later. This one not delete. Not danger, but primary. So cut web. This one save for later. Hmm. And uh, try to remember this part. Okay, actually you need to put an ID here. Okay. So an ID. So you can go to this. So update the, the URL. So cut. Save. For. Later wait. This one cut move so for later ID. Okay, so no need using this one post method. Yeah, I I I I think no need to use I think no need to use for I think it's okay this one slash So we try it first. Save later. Why not functioning? So delete. So we want to save for later. Save for later. Wait. Oh, this one for index. Oh, this one for instance. Sorry, sorry, my mistake. So you need to set inside the default card here. Okay, save for later. Refresh. Okay, supply a valid price. Okay, I'm not sure what the error here. The card does not contain pro ID. Oh my god. The pro ID, I think it's correct this one. Try to add the card. Set for later. Value price. Ah, I see. You need to put the quantity here. Oh, my mistake. Quantity. That's why error. 
we try again ah try again save for later oh uh, because ready the complete is the empty so add to cut save later done nice so actually this one so for later this one not so save for later is a move to cut so we need to update here the save letter update in, in this one inside cut uh save letter so move to cut okay All right so if you refresh move to cut okay but this one the the button is not functioning so we need to update the controllers like usual lah. okay Alright, so okay, we need to add delete and uh, delete uh, uh, and save uh, move to cut but uh, functions for soft save for later cut. Okay, okay, you need to go to web.php. Then add route delete save for later ID. Then save for later controller. So later on, we will create a new controller. Right. What? Uh, destroy. Then route post. This one move to cut. Ah. So post um save for later slash move to cut. Then ID. The, the the cut ID yeah. then save later controller right move to cut oh whoa whoa okay so we need to create a new controller save for later controller so clear php artisan make controller save for later controller ok so new controller here Okay. okay we almost finish so go to cut controller so copy uh, destroy this one destroy so copy this one first we, we make it one by one eh? so controller so remove so add instance save for later because you want to de uh, delete the save for later controller let's uh, say for later cut okay then you need to um I think this one destroy function already done then you need to create a new function called move to cut okay so copy here okay so move uh, move to cut because we follow this one move to cut so move to cut ah. so move to cut so duplicate okay we check uh, we check this one for instance so we add instance here okay instance search okay 
then same goes to um, what we call this one the instant save for later I think not this one okay maybe it's not like that so we try to search uh, save for later first then we remove then we check on the default card which is the default default card ah. is um, if there is uh, no duplication so it will move to the default card okay so we try to do this first ah. so get item so item card Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa! Not this one. Yeah, no, no, not this one. Cut. So instance. What save for later? So save for later. Uh, get. So get ID. Okay, sorry. So this one move to cut right. So we using um, ID. So we get ID here based on this one ID. Okay. Right. Okay. So get ID. Then. We need to remove remove from instance cut and eh, not uh, remove save for later cut save for later remove id okay Alright, so ID, so duplicate, uh, okay, so this one's, uh, we want to search default, default card, okay, then you search, so make sure you, you get the, um, the raw ID here, this one, so cut item raw id uh, the request okay so this one don't use request because we get the id here so id see id then you need to return uh we do the comparison uh, the raw id here raw id and id so we want to compare these two row id and id okay so we check uh, is duplication the duplicates is not empty or not okay so Okay, once then this one, then you need to add. Uh. So add instance default. So add request ID. Okay, so it's not request. We using item. Why? Because we get from here item. So item id item name and price so associate product then the item it was added to your card okay so next you need to <coughs> update the card i think we almost finished huh? Mm. 
next one so go to save letter card and this one okay so we want to put we want to add delete i think the delete is already done right so delete so save for later wait 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 okay this is one delete right save for later then the the id so save for later because we're using delete right delete so delete method so save for later item bro id post this one correct so move to cut so how about move to cut so we need to update the url here so save for later, save for later and move to cut slash okay. so move to cut item row id okay then you can try to submit okay So you can try to submit. Refresh. Move to cut. See? Already changed to default cut. Okay, so next we need to add checkout. Okay, so we but we not cover for payment. Okay, so we didn't do any payments here. So we just uh create an empty checkout page lah. so but we will uh, I will cover the checkout uh, module or checkout page on the next lesson so make sure you subscribe uh, this channel to make sure I you know you get notification in the future alright ok so we try to complete this so route <sighs> get check out okay i think this one uh, i'm not sure where i need to cover one to check out controller check out okay so like usual you need to create a new what we call new controller right new controller but uh, but they are they, they are no uh business logic behind the checkout so i think you just uh no need no need to create a controller you just show the view the view page so function mm. I think I put I put controller I put a controller okay okay Okay, then um, update the index to update the PHP. This one, the checkout. Go to the checkout link here. Okay. So maybe I I I, I put this. Let me show sure if cover for this one. Wait, this one will continue shopping. Oh no 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 this one. I think not this one. This one. So I shrift. What well, check out? Whoa, whoa, where where is it? So check out here. Check out. So check out. 
So not easy, right? So you need to create a new controller. Check out controller. Okay. So check out controller here. Okay. Alright, so create new function, public function, check out, control it, eh, check out, not check out, what was the, hmm, check out, check out, okay, check out, then return, view, check out. Okay, so check out with not with no need no need because no right? so just view check out so create new view here called check out okay so extends Layouts dot app section content then add check out page so try search check out page I think we not cover uh, this one for payment they just just show the, the check out I, I, I want to I try to make it uh I want to finish this lesson so check out okay so you just show only this page huh? actually I want to show a form but I try to cover on the next session now huh? next lesson okay so I think that that's all. So I try to recap. So first thing we try to uh, we want to uh, we create a what we call uh, we create a new project. Yeah. Then we configure the database connection. Then we the uh, install the 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 Laravel UI. So we want we we need the, the, the Bootstrap right. Then do do the the we create a new uh, a, a model product together with the migration file then we migrate into database then we create a new uh, we update the, the home controller to show this page okay so then we uh, update the master template after that we do the, the, the this page we make it dynamic so we try to retrieve the all the records and show up show up it here okay so then um we do the the, the price formatting and then we create a new controller because we want to show the product list like this let's say search product okay show like this then if if you click then we go to specific product based on product id so then we create a uh, what we call the the the, the cut cut page the cut the we get the simple cut summary yeah here so when add to cut so you show this cut okay so the cut summary you can uh this is the default the customer you can delete and save for later or we want to move another but uh cut save for later cut and then we create a save letter cut let's say if user want to save letter just create save letter and show 
or they want to delete also can if you want to move to cut okay. so once then user can check out yeah i think that's all for our lesson tonight so next we will learn about how to do the payment gateway maybe we're using uh, paypal or stripe either one or both so we will be using the paypal which is just click plug and play then the stripe maybe can use it can put the credit card number there all right i think that's all so don't forget to uh, subscribe my channel and like this video and good night thanks for watching good night bye bye